How's it going, everyone? Welcome into today's training, One Prompt to Rule Them All. My name is Darby Rollins, the founder, CEO of The AI Author, joined here alongside my beautiful fiance, partner, and business growth expert here at The AI Author, Rachel Coburn. We're super excited to see you guys here joining us today. Got a fun-filled training for you with some really cool demonstrations that I'm finding utilizing Jasper's dynamic template alongside some other really cool features that literally just got announced a few days ago. And I'm going to show you how to use these features inside of Jasper, along with how you can also pair them inside of ChatGPT, specifically GPT-4, for taking the content we're producing and then really supercharging it with both of these tools combined. So Rachel will be helping with the comments today. Feel free to ask her questions and also share with us where you're tuning in from. Coming in live, we got a full house, it looks like today. Almost 400 people registered for this training. And should be a ton of great stuff here for you guys today. I'm not going to hold anything back, but we're going to be following the one prompt technique process that I've been using, especially with the dynamic template inside of Jasper and the brand new enhanced prompt feature to, that just takes a lot of the stress and the confusion out of crafting really good prompts and stuff that's designed to really get solid outputs from tools like Jasper. So as we're tuning in, feel free to drop in the chat, guys. Let us know where you're tuning in from. So Q&A, guys, drop them in there. And for everyone that's going to be asking about the replay, that replay will be available for a limited time for free on our site. After this is done, we'll be sending it out via email. And then after probably like a few days to a week or so, we're going to be pulling it off and hosting it inside of our AI author library, which I'll be talking with you guys about as well and how you can get access to not only this replay but all of the past trainings that we've done and then access our entire community so that you can really learn to leverage and unleash the full power of generative ai technologies and web3 technologies because we're doing a lot of really cool things here at the ai author creator community so super excited to see everybody here with us live today see people joining in from the uk coming in from carlsbad california coming in from florida temecula all right Good to see you, Gina. Good to see you, Jim, Chris. All right, guys, we got a full house today. And uh, yeah, we can go ahead and jump right in now for all those that are going to be tuning in. You can catch that replay. Um, and yeah, good question. If you bought your book, write a book in a week, are we in, are we in members? So we'll cover everything that you guys get inside of the members area. But for those of you that haven't already, you can go to Amazon right now. You can pick up a copy of create content with AI volume one Jasper boss mode edition. This is really designed to help you learn how to leverage Jasper, but keeping in mind that the prompts, the instructions, the direction inside of this book, is also a perfect roadmap that you can apply inside of tools like ChatGPT and any other generative AI tool that you might use. We prefer Jasper and design our recipes and prompts in Jasper because of its functionality and everything that Jasper has to offer. But this is a great starting point for those of you that are getting into AI, want to learn how to get and move around Jasper. And then of course, these trainings are going to be here for you guys to stay up to date with all the latest changes. As I mentioned, we had a few big announcements this past week, really. One of them the dynamic template, which is the going to be really the big focus of our one prompt to rule them all training today. And then the enhanced prompt feature, we're going to walk through how we're using that. I'm going to give you guys here, if you're live with us, you're lucky, you're going to get access to this resource. If not, you're only going to be able to get the resource for our God mode prompts inside of our library. So make sure you subscribe at the AIauthor.com today. And if you are a bronze library card holder, you'll be able to access that library as well. Without further ado, guys, let me go ahead and make sure I don't have an okay. unnecessary amount of tabs. And you just got to go on Amazon to get the book. But if you go to the AIauthor.com slash book, you'll be able to download the free PDF interactive, gets you all the recipes and things of that nature as well. And I feel like I'm spacing on something that was super relevant. As we kick things off here, I'm sure it'll come to me at some point. And then one yeah. second, guys. FYI, everyone again on the chat, not the chat, the Q&A, please use the Q&A for everything. Chat is disabled for everybody. This is a webinar view. So please let us know any questions, comments, anything you have in Q&A. Apologies again, but thank you. I think we're pretty much ready to dive in. What I'm going to do is make sure I got my tabs organized and sorted so you guys don't have to see 
the nonsense of too many tabs because we're talking about one prompt, one prompt to lure them all. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, if that wasn't apparent by the theme of this webinar. And I hope that you guys find this not only entertaining, but extremely educational and helpful for how you can use this process and really to think about using this process for yourself. If you're solo, if you have a team training your team on this process inside of Jasper, and if you don't have the last link I'll share with you guys, if you don't have a Jasper account, you're going to need one to log in and follow along with this training because we're using Jasper specific templates. Go on over to the AIauthor.com slash Jasper, subscribe. It's worth its weight in gold. And you could also use that combined with ChatGPT to really take your content to the next level. Now, let's dive in to one prompt to rule them all. Again, quick recap, the replay for this will be available for a limited time and then only inside of our AI author library, which will be available as of today to the entire AI author creators community. We've got a ton of really great stuff coming for you over the course of this next year. We've got expert sessions already lined up for the next three months with Kelly Tenney, who many of you know, who recently hosted the One With Who AI Summit with Rachel and has been educating people on AI and their business for since AI was really a thing, she's done a lot of great workshops with us. We've got more and more of those experts and coaches that are going to be getting certified through our Gen AI University programs to continue to bring you the latest and greatest trainings on using generative AI for your business. Now, the number one rule I have for this training and to keep in mind in the spirit of Lord of the Rings is don't be a prompt golem. And what do I mean by that is that the prompts that we're giving here, I don't want you guys to just hoard them. And I certainly don't want you to take them and go and resell them like on your own, but I want you to use these prompts as inspiration for how you can approach these tools and how you can refine them with your team to really amplify your content creation efforts. I really want you to consider how you can be using these prompts and how you can go about this process to create your own God mode prompts. And we will get a better understanding of what I mean by a God mode prompt, but specifically for your business, because obviously we can only demonstrate so many use cases here. So I'm going to try to articulate how you can literally take these prompts, modify them, and then follow this same process to scale up your content efforts. And I don't care how many free books out there that are giving away these $7 thousands of prompts, cheat sheets that you, know, you can go and find them for sure. It's not just about copying and pasting the prompts. It's about the application. It's about the process around it and looking at this from a real holistic perspective. So we're not just copying, pasting and praying for the best in the world. We're going to be interacting with Jasper and we're going to be using these prompts as starting points to help us really just create better prompts with ease. And at the last, before I get off my soapbox here, so you might wonder why so much content starts to sound generic out there in generative AI. That's because if everyone's posting the same prompts in the same copy and paste into the same chat box in chat GPT, then it's going to sound the same and generic in general, like everyone else. So we're going to be going and getting specific with it. So don't be a prompt golem and join us throughout this training so you can truly unlock the potential of Jasper. We're gonna be going through the dynamic template and the enhanced prompt feature, and then how you can apply that alongside something like ChatGPT that can help you with, once you have a really well-refined prompt and a piece of content you want to take it and continue to streamline your content efforts. So we're gonna be covering five key points here inside of this demonstration. And then we're gonna run into like actually implementing these with your workflow. And I'll be giving you a sheet that you can use. You can make a copy of yourself and it's also going to be inside of our library. But one is going to be the importance of prompts, the foundations of effective communication. Two is going to be the holy grail of prompts, the Jasper one prompt technique, which we'll be getting into here shortly. And then mastering the art, the boosting the output and your efficiency and your response quality from tools like Jasper. And then the introduction of God mode prompts, which are methods that I've developed to elevate your creative process. Not to say that I've invented like the process of prompt engineering by any means, but this is how I approach it. A lot of other AI experts out there have their different processes. And so a lot of really great people to learn from. So this is really specific to how I'm utilizing these tools in my workflow and how we're teaching people inside of our community, inside of our masterminds, how to get more effective outputs with these prompts. And then the five steps to implementing this powerful technique in your workflow, it's surprisingly simple. All right. What I want to first talk about here is the importance of prompts and the foundation of effective communication. If you've been in the AI space for any length of time now, you've probably heard the word 
prompt engineer coming out to play and it's everyone saying it's all about the prompts. It's all about the prompts. But what it's really about is knowing what you want to create from the start and knowing how to articulate what you want to create in a way that a machine can understand and then take your initial prompt and then start to create and build out the next steps from there. The fact is that you can get as creative as you really want with any of these prompts. And the better you understand how the machines work, the AIs are thinking in the background, your prompts are only going to get better over time. But what if you didn't have to become a prompt engineer to get great results from tools like Jasper? What if you didn't really even have to worry about like how many credits you were spending at all because your prompts were so dialed in, you knew what to ask, you knew what the outputs you'd get, and you're creating better content faster because you know what the right question to ask, what the right prompt to ask. And take AI out of the equation and think about talking to Jasper as if it was your friend on the other side of the coffee table. You're having a sip of coffee, you're at Ira Bean in downtown Austin, and you're enjoying some little some honey and cinnamon and a favorite pastime of Rachel and I for whatever we're in Austin. And you're saying, maybe I'll say, Rachel, okay, I need a blog about, I like thinking about getting into real estate investing. And I want to write a blog about the best neighborhoods to invest in Austin. She'd be like, okay, cool. I'm going to write a blog about the best neighborhoods to invest in Austin. That's a prompt that I'm giving a human that human would then take and go and write and go and refine. They would come back to me and say, okay, great. You asked me to write you a blog about the best neighborhoods to invest in. And I could say it, I, okay, that's nice. But I was actually wanting you to write, not just like a blog about it, but I wanted to really target like high net worth individuals who are looking for investment properties. And they want to be within like five miles of downtown. I want to make sure that it's all houses and I don't want to be apartments. And I want you, after you write the blog, to write an email and like a text message that can go out to let people know that we've got a new blog and we're looking for this. That secondary piece of information that gave Rachel was second layer on that prompt, right? We're engineering a more well-constructed prompt for what we are trying to communicate with the world. How much better would the output be from Rachel knowing now that she needs to write it for investors who have a high net worth, who are looking for places close to downtown, who are houses only, no apartments, or like, you can see where I'm getting here is they can start to build on each other. The AI operates the same way, but the fact is that often we don't necessarily know all the things to say to prompt the AI to do that. But the better we can get at crafting one effective prompt to start the better the outputs and the results are going to be. And so that is why prompts are important and essentially the foundation, not only of our communications human to human, but as we're talking about communicating with machines, we need to be able to articulate our ideas in such a way that the machine can then take it and run with it and get us ultimately to that end destination faster than before, where we can take the reins back, we can edit, we can modify, tweak, and then put that content into the world. Now, this is what I'm calling the holy grail of prompts is the Jasper one prompt technique, because I'm telling you guys, this training here is very fresh, very relevant because the dynamic template just came out a week or so ago, really for the whole community. And then the enhanced prompt feature came out a few days ago. I wrote this presentation, believe it or not, like this morning, I'm using an app called tome.app. If you can see it up here, I'm not sure if you guys can see my URL but really cool app, but it's helping me put together not only presentations like this, but this is just another tool that I use that utilizes AI in the process for creating effective communication. This might be the most meta presentation I've ever done because I also wrote the presentation with Jasper using my one prompt technique. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how you, you can go about the same exact process for yourself and utilizing the templates that we got you. But really once, once I started going through and writing out the web, like the idea for this process, I realized that this can literally be applied to any industry. And all you need to do is tweak a few words in your initial direction. And Jasper is going to take over the reins for the rest. And so we're discussing the mastering this as an art. The goal of this is not, and maybe you want to go and create like your own apps and your own products and all these things alongside of it that maybe Jasper isn't quite cutting it for you. And that's totally great. But we're focusing on Jasper today because it's the tool doing a lot of the hard work that I know for a fact that most business owners that are coming in to AI, most creators, like people that are innovating, using new products, 
I don't always have the time to think and construct series of like extremely well put together thought out prompts all the time every time right you might just be like i have an idea i want to run with it i don't want to like tweak around and play with chat gbt for 30 minutes or three hours to create this robust recipe i love making recipes and so that's obviously what we do a lot in our community but that's not for everyone and sometimes simple is better and that's why this whole presentation is about how can we get down to one prompt one well-crafted prompt using the one prompt technique to boost our output, to make us more efficient, and then just better response quality all around from the AI tools that we're using. And I do think that this is an art, and I think that it's an art that is in need of people to master the craft that understand that you're never truly going to be able to master this at the rate that our industry is moving but you need to be able to stay agile. You need to be able to pivot and adjust and respond to the fast changing things on the market trend, because I'm not going to get into it on this training at all. Some of you may have seen some words pop up in the chat GPT world called auto GPT, which like, quite frankly, is mind blowing what we're going to be getting to where the AI is actually taking an initial prompt and then creating the entire process, prompting itself again and again, I really haven't even had time to dive into a, a super ton. And I don't think it's necessary for everyone to do it, but just knowing that we're going to continue to go to places where things are just going to get faster and faster. And so training your mind to think and interact with the AI in the smarter way is going to make you more efficient. It's going to help you boost your output, and it's going to improve the quality of your content all around. And so what I want to talk to you now is the idea of God mode prompts. And these are like the expert prompts that are designed to help you elevate your creative process. And while the word God mode prompts might sound a little maybe clickbaity to you, or it might be like, okay, well, like, what does that even really mean? God mode prompts, what is the AI doing? Like everything for me now. So, no, what I mean when I'm thinking and speaking about a God mode prompt is like, how can I look? seven steps down the road for what I'm trying to produce? And then how do I construct a simple prompt that can help the AI create the rest of the outputs or the inputs that I need to effectively get to that produce? Thinking, write a blog post about X. Cool. That's one prompt. And if you've gone through our auto scripting course, we talk about command stacking and how you get these different prompts that you engineer and you get different layers of executing different commands based on those prompts. With God prompts, you can set up very large strings of prompts that can follow specific patterns that are very effective to getting that end result faster, but you might not necessarily have one template for it. You might not necessarily have the ability to do all of it just inside of chat GPT's interface because you're a little limited and you aren't able to edit as much as you're like tweaking your outputs. But what are the steps that are going to get us from point A all the way to our end destination and thinking about the prompts from the end in mind to help us crafting more effective prompts to elevate and streamline our creative process. So that's what I mean by COD mode prompts. And I'll be showing you how you can tweak and modify these 20 that I'm going to give you. So as we go in, so right now we're going to dive in for the five steps to implementing this powerful te technique in your workflow, we're going to be demonstrating using Jasper AI's dynamic template, their enhanced prompt feature, and we're going to be adding some chat GPT-4 into the mix, all in an effort to help you streamline and scale your content production process using the one prompt. And so that is my slide before we hit the last slide. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab this link. And I'm going to drop it in here, Rachel, if you can make sure that everyone is able to get this link. Everyone should be able to view this link as well. Yeah, if you can jump in the chat, shot. Um, if anyone has any issues, let me know in Q&A, but you should be able to access it. But and again, right and now. again, like this document, as you guys are watching this live and on the replay, I'm not sharing this link below the replay when you guys have it. It's going to be inside our AI author library. So if you aren't a library card holder or you're not a member, I encourage you to go and become a member, but this is your opportunity to snag this and save it and then start to work with it on your own. And this is what I'm talking about. 
revenue driving and time saving God mode prompts when used the right way with Jasper. You can see a little bit of information here, introduction to it, and how to run these commands. It's very simple. All the commands in here are indicated by the bold and italics with the little command symbol and how we want to start using these prompts to be effective. And we're going to dive in and start showing you some real examples with things right here. Step one is going to be selecting the desired prompt from the list. Step two is going to be replacing the things like title, audience, outcomes with the appropriate information, and then inserting them into the Jasper Chats Enhance feature. If desired, I'll walk you through this here in a second. After that, we're going to input the customized prompt now that we've made in collaboration with Jasper to Jasper's dynamic template. We're going to let Jasper generate really the inputs and the variables that are going to feed the content that it's going to create. Then we're going to review, edit, refine the content as needed and move on to the next stage of our content production process. So simple five steps, and I'm going to walk you through it once, and then we're going to pause. And then we're going to probably run through it a few more times so you guys can see how to go through it. I'm going to move fast in a lot of cases here. There's a lot to cover and you're going to want to come back and probably take some notes, go back and watch how I'm doing it. If I'm moving, ask some questions. But again, as we're going through this stuff, this is really what our community is for in between these calls, ask questions, engage and share insights. But as you can see, we've got a prompt. With some of these might just have a few words difference for it, but like a few words in some cases is all it takes to get a much better output and a much more specific output with Jasper. So we've got things like a general webinar, an online workshop, live training, virtual seminar, interactive course, expert led sessions, master classes, online boot camps, workshops, skill building, digital lecture, e learning, exclusive workshops, center specialized courses. And so what you would do. And what I'm going to be demonstrating is like, how would you take any number of these prompts and then use them to create like a course or a keynote speech or something along those lines. And something that I've been using this a lot for lately is outlining an upcoming keynote, like presentation I'm going to be doing in Miami in a couple of days on leveraging generative AI for your business. And so I'll just start with brainstorming. What am I going to talk about with a presentation like this? And out of all of these different examples. Let me go ahead and see which one would be a good one here. Let's do like a digital lecture. You're going to be putting on an event. You're going to be talking with people about a certain title, focusing on an audience, advancing your knowledge and outcome. Here is the speaker, claim your place, add a call to action, and then additional context and info. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this prompt now. I'm going to open up my Jasper account. Organized spreadsheet as well. Just picking up. What was that? Doc and spreadsheet. I'm still having a hard time hearing you. I see a tokenized spreadsheet. Are you referring to our key link stack? Yes, yes. We'll be adding all of these inside of our key links inside of our community and our library. So that's where you guys are going to want to go and access this after the fact. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my dynamic template. Reset it. And what we see here, what do you want to create? If I just put this in, it's not really customized. It's still a template, right? It's still a prompt, but it doesn't have anything specific. And so I need to modify this a little bit, but I'm going to do that actually right here inside of my chat app. So chat, Jasper chat follows you around anywhere you're at on the account. I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to say digital lecture. I'm going to call it productive play focused on audience is going to be entrepreneurs, advance your knowledge and effective and fun team building activities. If you guys aren't familiar, my, my other company is side hustles, party game for entrepreneurs. It's a great team building, interactive, creative catalyst type of game. We've got some opportunities later on this year to potentially be speaking on some stages about how to use this game for your team building. And so this is where the start of the idea is for me. So I'm lectures on productive play focused on entrepreneurs, advancing knowledge and effective and fun team building activities. Educator is going to be myself. I'm your place. Start playing side hustle 
free online at playsidehustle.com. And then context and detail, this is like really where the world is your oyster, so to speak. You can give it as little or as much information. I usually start with a sentence or two of a seed prompt and then build it from there. But for this, I'm just going to say context and details is using games to have fun outside of work and be more productive while playing to avoid burnout from all work and no play. Okay. So what I've just done is I've taken this one prompt on digital lecture. You could technically add this in as an additional prompt if you wanted to, but that's like a stage two for this. And so something to explore, we may get that into a different example, but now I've got my prompt right here. This is good, but could it be better? I'm sure it could be better because this is going to be like with Jasper. This is my one prompt. Let me go ahead and just press this enhance your prompt feature with Jasper and see what Jasper can help me come up with. Interested. Act as an attendee. You are attending a virtual lecture on productive play delivered by Darby Rollins. The focus on the lecture is exploring the role of play and entrepreneurship and ways to use fun team building activities to increase productivity while burning burnout. During the lecture, Darby introduces the website, playsidehustle.com, where you can start playing side hustle games for free. As an attendee, play close attention to the tips and methods shared by Darby and his teams. So you can introduce at the workplace, boost morale, create more enjoyable work environment. After the lecture, check out sidehustle.com and share ideas, feedback, and the rest of the audience. Can you guys see how much more clear and concise that is? If I'm like, I'm wanting someone to understand what the purpose of this lecture is. It's much more direct. I'm giving instruction. It's not ambiguous and it's specific. Now I can take this. I can paste it over here inside of my dynamic template. I can click create. And now I wait for Jasper to do the prompt engineering for me. Darby? Yes. Question. Can you talk about the pipes the vertical dividers used and the prompts within the text? Is that something that Jasper uses as a command option or what is the meaning of using pipes in the prompt? These? I, I, that's just how I formatted them, to be honest with you. It's just <laughs> yeah, kinda, I, it kind of explits it up to know this is section yeah. in there. So Kevin, it's more of a formatting format option what? for you. And like we just saw, we put our prompt in, we had the one idea, we changed a few words, gave it a little context, asked Jasper to enhance our prompt. Now we have this prompt and now we've got Jasper now prompting us so that we're collaborating with this tool based on what we've given it already in context to knowing the exact variables that we need to move it onto the next stage in the pipeline. And this is how you don't get generic generative AI by not just asking it the same simple bland generic question and expecting a specific output with your own stories and examples, right? There's things that Jasper could come up with brainstorming, but it's not going to be able to pull from my personal experiences or my unique background or anything specific I want here. So I'm going to say now benefits observed right here, additional thoughts or questions. And so like for this prompt, it's telling me to act as an attendee. Your virtual lecture, like doing right here. So I'm going to say my name is Jane Doe, and I'm going to dictate this so I can go a little bit faster here in a second at gmail.com. And then we'll set play activity suggestions, sharing your experience recommendations based on the lecture, benefits observed. Cool. And so I'm like, okay, like what benefits will people be getting from this format test? I'm going to speak out the rest of these commands. sharing your recommendations based on the lecture and playsidehustle.com. Summarize the benefits of introducing play activities in your workplace. Any suggestions or queries that you would like Darby and other audience members to address. Include any additional information that would be good from the perspective of an attendee to inform the creation of this keynote presentation. So you can see here, this is my first pass at this output in creating a template. And it's giving me the idea to start 
generating ideas from these attendees, like what would they take from it? What do I maybe need to do to inform a second prompt once I'm more clear on like how I want to be expanding on this entire presentation? And it's writing me, the presenter, an email now from the perspective of someone that just went through my keynote presentation. Dear Darby, I want to reach out and express how much I enjoyed creating your recent lecture on productive play. It meant a lot to me. Is some valuable insights, practical ideas I'm eager to implement in my workplace. Key takeaways and learnings. One key takeaway, right, from this lecture is important of incorporating play and leisure activities and daily routine. Like, this is giving me ideas, right? We're using Jasper here to brainstorm, like, this is an event, this is a digital lecture. Like, I'm coming into this with one prompt and working with Jasper to see where I'd want to take it from right now. And I'll show you a next step after this using chat GPT for if this was an example we wanted to run with how I could take this and now really blow it up using chat GPT four. And so we'll see, we got practical advice, playsidehustle.com review. I'm obviously going to edit this right here, problem solving, engaging, focus on problem solving collaborations. My greatest favorites were, let's say, lightning round which is a fast version of the game and side hustle for teams which will require that communication personal reflection additional thoughts i do have questions suggestions for incorporating play into a remote environment right and this is a good starter it's okay make, maybe like this sort of thing would have these kind of key takeaways i can take this example now and what i would do Instead of going into boss mode directly to expand on it, now I've got a lot of addition, a different context that now I can leverage on top with a lot of chat GPTs. I think a real strong suit is like the long form additional building on top of context for creating a lot of other content around what we're feeding it, but I need to feed it the right stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same prompt that Jasper helped me engineer. I'm going to go into chat GPT. GPT-4, I'm going to say data equals act as intendee. I'm going to go back to the dynamic template. I'm going to take this email, data2. And now I'm going to give ChatGPT a command for saying, what now would I want it to do based on this sort of knowledge? Do I want it to respond with this? Or in this case, I want to see what sort of presentation I would come up with that would literally play into the benefits that somebody from the audience would write me an email about on that point and see how it works, right? None of this is final right out the gate, but... I'm brainstorming this idea to finalize an outline that I'll then take and expand on. And so I'm just going to do a simple command, which is effectively a prompt with much more context in it, because now we've got the full engineered prompt from Jasper. We've got a full email about what the keynote was essentially about and the takeaways. I'm going to say, write a, an outline for a keynote presentation on this topic, referencing data and data two. Simple. Yet effective. And I'm watching now to just see, is this something that I want to utilize and potentially expand on for our upcoming keynote presentation. So got introduction, introduction of the concept, importance of play, lectures and insights, the role of play in personal and professional, mental and emotional well-being benefits, de-stressing, burnout. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is taking the words right out of my mouth. Rachel, you've been hearing me talk about this idea for a long time, and these are legitimately like the benefits that people get from playing side hustle. And from somebody's perspective that would actually be putting this into play, I can tell you that this is a good output.
right? If yeah. it was talking about productive play and like it was talking about video games for like children and stimulating activity and like too much screen time, we're going in a different direction, right? And so sometimes AI is going to AI, right? We need to turn that into a t-shirt. AI is going to AI and it's just going to go off the rails. And so what we're trying to do here is put the right focus lanes on it to consistently get outputs like this in a matter of really just a few clicks. All I did was come up with the idea and then I pasted the content from Jasper here into the command. We use Jasper's dynamic template, enhancing the prompt to writing a full-blown outline for it. And that's just one demonstration for how to use one of these prompts to very quickly expand on this process. And I'm gonna do a quick pause real quick, Rachel, and yeah. then we'll jump back into things here. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so we can, I think we got some questions. So we actually have a great question right now in the chat. Um, so I know we're going to get this question actually later on the presentation. So can you go ahead and answer? Can this actually, can you do this in Jasper or is the outline better done in ChatGPT? You can do both of them in Jasper. And that is a good question. I wanted to demonstrate how you could use both of these at the same time. And the reason that I fed this into the ChatGPT is because I like to use these tools like at the same time, literally to help with the brainstorming of it. And I'll show you an example, because and I'll show you how to do this exact, or it's not going to be exact because it's going to be regenerating it. But like inside of ChatGPT, like again, like this is feeding me some more information. Okay, that's great. Let's do it. Take a quick step back, okay? To where we started from and act as, let's see right here. Where's the search? All right, so I'm going to reset this template. And now I'm going to say, and I'm going to do it another way now, because what did we just do? We said digital lecture, focus on audience right here. So I'll show you guys how to just go straight into it on that front. What do we say? Productive play focused on entrepreneurs. Preneurs, advancing your knowledge in workplace productivity while avoiding burnout and building a great team. Educator, Darby Rollins, claim your place. Play side hustle free at play play side hustle.com context use games to stimulate your brain outside of work to become more productive while you play so now i'm going to give it this and all i'm going to do here now is say just typing it in there Instead of asking Jasper chat to do it, let's just go straight into the dynamic template. So I'm just giving it that same command. I'm not enhancing it necessarily. I see a question about when I was typing in voice dictating, I use a tool called voice in. I don't know if I can find a link to that. Let me see for you guys, but it, I think you could probably use any voice dictation tool. that suits you, but I'll drop a link to the voice in one because I find it super helpful and handy in the Chrome extension here shortly. Actually, I'll just do that right now. Let's see. Yeah, so if you guys want to go ahead and use, I think that this will get you guys all set up with voice in. Super handy tool. We can do a lot of really cool things with it as well in terms of like toggles and certain things like that. And so now what we've seen here is another generation of the dynamic template, but being more specific to like, okay, what is like creating an outline for it more specifically? I'm going to rerun this actually one more time because I realized that if we're talking about creating an outline, I just want to tell it. So if AI doesn't know that, it's going to be a little bit more prone to maybe not do it right away. I'm going to say creates a keynote presentation, intro, outline, and con 
occlusion with CTA on. And so I'm just, okay. Keynote, intro, outline, conclusion on digital lecture. So I'll just go back into the recreate. Jasper is going to take the new information I just gave it. It's doing the prompt engineering in the background to give me the proper variables that I now need to give it without guessing to get the best results out for this. Not to say it's perfect every time, but you can see like the more specific we're going to be getting with the Cedar prompt using the one prompt technique is going to feed our ability to know, okay, this was a great output because of this. The last one was the first one we just showed. If I was more specific with an outline, we would have gotten a lot closer to that result. But in this case, now it's giving me educator name, topic, key focus area, call to action, context and details, information. Great. So AI just put the ball back in my court. Now it's my responsibility to add in this information. And so I'm going to say, cool, obviously my name is Darby Rollins. And so here, this is what I love about this feature guys. like the dynamic template, like how cool is it that Jasper is now giving you customized prompts based on the prompt that you gave it based on everything it knows it's focused it in. I never mentioned workplace product. I might've mentioned that once I'm avoiding burnout, building your team. Like I mentioned that inside of the prompt, it's okay. These would be really great key areas to focus, but maybe you want to do more. Test productive play for entrepreneurs, enhancing workplace productivity to avoid burnout and build a great team. In this presentation, we'll be covering workplace productivity techniques, how you can use games to increase your productivity, how you can use games such as side hustle to avoid burnout. And then we'll cap things off with how to use games like side hustle and other productive type of games to build your team. As you guys are filling out this context, you keep in mind that it's a, another thing that I just want to highlight to, so you guys can see where this is going is like before in boss mode, you've got 600 characters on the content brief. I'm going to show you like you have 600 characters on the content brief to give it all of this information. Now, this is like Pandora's box that Jasper just opened for us to giving so much extra context inside of things and not necessarily be limited to just a document. Like it's basically, if you wanted to go and create your custom templates, like before you have to go build your own app, you got to train the AI, you got to work on all your specific models. You've got to understand how to plug into open AI or Anthropic or any of these other multi-model tools that Jasper is built on. You don't have to worry about that. You just know how to know what prompt do you want to do. You're limited to 600 characters here and 3000 or so reference points up here, but like the content, like we've been saying this for years is like the content brief in boss mode is now this, except for on steroids, because now I've got 300 characters here. Claim your free digital version of the game to play online with the team anywhere at playsidehustle.com. In this presentation, we're going to be using games to stimulate your brain outside of work to become more productive while you play. We do this by integrating games into our team exercises, our after work activities and other environments where we want to be creative, but we don't want to necessarily work and burn out. Include additional information here on the key benefits of each section. And inside of the outline include bullet points that I want to be talking about for all of the insights above. Cool. So I'm just talking to Jasper at this point, I need to give it this information to create something that I really want. And now I get to be the editor in chief, so to speak. And here we go. Did you know that 77% I would fact check that? Of entrepreneurs report experience burnout at least once in their careers. Entrepreneurs were constantly pushing themselves to achieve more, but imagine if you could harness the power of play to boost our productivity, prevent burnout, and create stronger teams. My name is Darby Rollins. I'm an expert in productive play for entrepreneurs, the founder of Play Side Hustle, the party game for entrepreneurs. In this presentation, we're going to be discussing the concept of productive play and its impact on work-life balance, how games and playful activities are, can increase our productivity, prevent burnout, and using games like Side Hustle to build cohesive teams, 
throughout this presentation, we're going to be providing a solid example of real-life stories and case studies. Let's get into it. Part one, productive play. And like I'm reading this in my head. I like to speak it out loud as I'm reading this because I need to hear how these things are flowing. And this is following an introduction, creating an outline with those bullet points that I wanted it to do, and the conclusion right here so we can see We're making the decision now. Is this going in a direction that we want it to go? Is this not going in a direction we want it to go? Something that people have asked consistently since I think everyone started using AI tools. And look at that. It's pulling like links for resources that I can pull out of here. So <laughs> we'll be able to check and make sure those are they're there. But like, guys, we're, we're pulling reference resources that are only going to improve like the, what's the word I'm looking for? Just be more legit because you're citing real resources. We can pull information from these resources. And otherwise, I lost my train of thought there. I'm sure we'll come back to it. But can you guys see like how the process is working here? I want to just check some comments and see, are you guys like seeing where you can apply this in your own workflow, where one prompt can help expanding using this dynamic template? Oh, that's where it was. It's using this dynamic template. What do we do now once we have the content that we want to edit? I'm not saying I'm going to go on stage and present this right now, though I'm pretty confident that I could. And I might, and if you guys wanted to turn this into a full blown presentation, like the way that I did it, like here today, I'm just going to do that right now. This is a little bonus. This is a really cool app, tome.app. I don't even have an affiliate link for it. I just think it's really cool. You come in here, Jasper literally is formatting this for us. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to create a presentation. I'm going to click document the presentation, paste with the headers. Oh, I don't need to upgrade to pro. That's okay, guys. Maybe we won't upgrade to pro. I might do that on the side here. I have a full-blown presentation at the end of the hour. And using what I'm leading into is now what do we do once we have this content? I recommend using a tool like Living Writer or I'll just make sure I can get all logged in and stuff to this stuff, guys. So you can see Scrivener is another really good content management tool as you're producing a lot of just content for the author use. I found Living Writer to be like a really effective one. It's, it's 10 bucks a month as well for managing content for all sorts of different projects. And so as you're producing content in here and you're saying, okay, I really got output, but I want to see a few more that Jasper might have for me inside of, again, like the post-production process. Once you create it in Jasper, like then what? Then I can just create a blank manuscript, productive, play, go ahead and click create. And now I can start to organize my different outputs, my examples, and other things like that inside of this tool. Okay, I get it. I did this today. I get it. Over here. And boom. Now I'm just pasting my output number one. I just call this like key keynote outline number one, and I can go from there now and I can just simply go ahead and make a new chapter for like additional versions outline keynote two. I can create it. I can go inside of my Jasper account. And now that I've saved the content for reference and as I'm editing it and going back through and refining, I can be like, all right, let's see, like maybe that was good, but like I want some more ideas and maybe I want to enhance the content brief a little bit more opening unlock your productive potential through play welcome to today's lecture on dark and productive play for entrepreneurs i'm darby rollins passionate educator dedicated to helping you level up your workplace productivity and avoiding burnout and so you see it's like taking the same inputs that we had but now i'm getting a new output generated but in between here i could have gone through i could have added another 150 characters of context i could have added almost 200 or 600 characters of additional info that I wanted Jasper to be like more specific on. And you can see now it's like topic one, topic two, topic three, topic four, team building with productive play, importance of cohesiveness. And so of course now either, and a lot of this depends on your presentation style. Like you could take this and run it through the one shot blog post template to just create like a section individually or a blog post to use as a script for this. Personally, I like to just follow the bullet points and then use the bullet points in the outline to keep me on track. And as I go through the rest of the process and, but now here we go, like we're out of the way at the closing, get your game face on and conquer burnout, call to action, 
dive into your product, additional resources. And like it's pulling these resources, which I think is really cool. And of course, everyone would want to, I don't know if Jane Doe is really writing that book right here, Stripe Pro. Let me see if I click this. Oh, bummer. That will happen. Jasper doesn't always pull perfect links. It doesn't look like that one is anything as well. Again, I would just add in some additional resources right here. And honestly, I'm not even sure if this dynamic template is plugging into Google the right way. What I might do in this case is say, okay, cool. I'm in Jasper chat. This is something that need to source, like something that like Jasper, I think is doing very well in its chat feature, because not only do I have the ability to start chatting with Jasper, but I can add my brand like tone. I can add my AI author, which I'll show you guys in just a second. You can start uploading your own content from websites for Jasper to reference. If you haven't seen that already, give you a little glimpse of that. Need to source reference links for keynote topic. Cool. I'm just going to say, cool. Jasper chat, help me find some reference links for this if I want to include them inside of my deal. Let's see. Quick. So it's thinking, but it's also searching. And I'm also just showing you guys how you can go and literally make this entire presentation and using these few just different apps together. Obviously, we can touch on GPT-4 some more as well as we go into this overcoming burnout, tips for anxiety, like X, Y, or Z, healthy sleep, positive psychology. Yeah. So now Jasper chat, a little bit more accurate in terms of pulling up a link right here. So I'm like, okay, tips for avoiding burnout. So like I could pull information from any of these and continue to feed my example, Healthline Connects, like right here. I could say include information, Healthline Connects. Yeah. See, so, so you can just pull that. You can add it in. You can modify your template, copy your example. Let me see, where do we go? Oh, there it is. So outline one, keynote outline number two. We could open up that chapter. And again, this is my workflow. You could use any number of tools. I just find that Living Writer is pretty, pretty easy to work with. And so now I'm saving all of my content and my topics right there. And let me do this right here. Cool. And so I'll do it one more time. Regenerate that response. Productive play for entrepreneurs. Cool. All right, so now introduction, starting an engaging story. So you can see, keep rinse and repeating, saving the content that you want, moving on to another regeneration if you want it, but very specific in this case for a keynote presentation. Imagine you got called to be on keynote to speak in front of hundreds of people and we're like, wow, I need to write a keynote presentation on this topic very fast because that being on stage could turn into very real business for me, right? Now you've got Jasper to help you out. You could obviously use ChatGPT4 alongside it to take that same sort of thing that we're feeding it and to you expand on it as well. And fostering skills, overcoming the games, conclusion, recapping here. And now I could take this example right here. I could do a little bit of formatting and then I'll show you how to take this document and turn it into a full-blown presentation as well. Wasn't really part of it, but let me go ahead and see. Good question in chat. Let me check the chat while we're generating right here. Jason, I see your question. Have you ever considered using the RCI recursively criticized and improved technique to complement this process to improve prompts with self-improvement by the AI of the outputs as well? I haven't personally. That's a new word for me. It sounds like something that would be worth exploring. I'd love to learn if you have any kind of resources on that to share that because one of the things that like I've discovered like while going through this template is like AI can continue to refine the process more and more as we continue to do it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this and go over one more time, start a new chapter. New three. 
paste that right here. Introduction, outline, conclusion, H3, H3, H3. Bring it all together, conclusion. All right, cool. Now I've got this information. What I'm going to do now, again, this is why I told you guys probably want to watch this again if you want to dial in this workflow. But if you use this, Jasper, you can come back and keep refining your prompts. You can order something like Tome. And you can use Tome to help you with starting to generate like a presentation based on the documents that you're feeding it. And again, really cool tool. I think it's free for now at least. So watch. I just generated an outline with Jasper. Three possible options. Play your way to productivity, how games can help entrepreneurs thrive. Two, the power of productive play, boosting workplace productivity. His Tome is using AI as well behind it to help with coming up with the inspiration here. So cool. Intro, outline, importance, games. It's doing this because I gave it the H2 setting that it's saying, okay, H2s are going to be my outline. And now productive play for entrepreneurs, introduction. So like, it's a little bit here. So I would just refine this a little bit. It's like, this would be my story outline, like we're coming about importance of work-life balance techniques. So all bullet points, right? Stuff that I could riff off very quickly. If I needed like an emergency, like break the glass, you got to go talk on stage and page, <laughs> go talk on stage in 30 minutes on this topic. I'm like, ah, okay, fine. Thank God I got Jasper and some of these other cool apps. So cool side hustle overview of the game mechanics, how it's playing. Boom. That's why I said this is probably the most meta meta webinar I've done because I literally use the exact same process to put together like what we've talked about kicking off this entire thing. Again, like to getting a complete product that you can actually use because Jasper chat, all great tools. Jasper's not going to have that feature anytime in the near future, I don't think, to be able to build, build out slides. And so knowing your workflow and knowing what you need to get first to then moving that to the next stage can quite quickly scale up your content production process. Let me see your question here real quick. And so I see your question, Julie, on where do you prefer Jasper chat GPT versus Jasper chat and vice versa? I don't really, and I haven't, I guess like broken Jasper chat yet, but I've just found that it's very limited in terms of what it can look back to like reference the same type of things that I'm trying to build out with say chat GPT for. So for example, let's just, let's put Jasper chat to the test right now. I've got my brand voice plugged in right here, apply to chat. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to give it basically the same sort of like context. Let's just do this one, actually. I'm going to give the exact same thing that I gave it before. And let's see if it's actually limited on it this time, because I know Jasper keeps giving more, see like a maximum 1500 characters, 1300 too many. I'm at my cap right now. And you can see that GPT-4 clearly took what I gave it and wrote out an outline based on that. So that, that's one limitation, right? And so if I'm doing a lot of content and I'm processing, let's just say like this, I might say, okay, cool. See, again, it's too, it, it's not, I'm not able to give it as much info, which doesn't mean it's, oh, okay, I'm only going to use chat GPT. Like, no, that's not the case. But like for stuff where I need to like reference longer form content and rewrite in one fell swoop, I could do that here in Jasper now right? We copy it to clipboard. We can regenerate a response. We could also go into chat GPT, say, Hey, chat GPT, productive play. And it's just, this is the reason I write data is just that AI knows what to reference when I'm saying, giving it the command rewrites data and to be more in the tone of voice as Jerry Seinfeld with the business acumen of Mark Cuban after writing the presentation. I need you to create an email to promote this keynote along with 
three text messages to send to my friends and family. Okay. I still see Jasper gets a little limited, even with the dynamic template coming out and like the length at which it's going to be able to do all these responses. And there's not really a command J feature as of right now. I'm not, it could be by the time we get off this webinar, they could update the feature and have it be that. So like keeping in mind like where these tools and how you can push them, like I'm always finding new ways, new updates, enhanced prompt feature. And Jasper was, I mean, it just came out two days ago, maybe and super powerful for enhancing those prompts. But now you can see this wasn't a problem for GPT-4 to take the entire thread I did. I found it actually go up to 15,000 characters the last I was testing it. That's a lot of characters, right? You can break down like a 10-minute podcast that you do or a clip, and then you can write a blog post with key insights very quickly with a command like that. But again, you got to know your commands. You got to know how... I just saw your question, Julie. Yeah. Then you dump something like 15,000 words into the thing the other day. It was 15,000 characters was the limit I found it at. But yes, like I did. And it worked very effectively for breaking that down. I was using it for breaking down like a series of interviews we did. So I said, reference this interview, write like a summary, then some key insights and action steps from it. And then I wrote a blog post from those key insights and action steps. I just haven't been able to figure out the best workflow to do that specifically in Jasper. But again, it's why I emphasize like both of these tools can be used together. Like you need a word processor document of some sort to now take this and edit it to its final version. But what did we just get? We got data. We gave it this. What's the deal with entrepreneurships and work? And we spent, <laughs> this does sound like Gary Seinfeld the deal with entrepreneurs and work. Am I right? We spend all day working and we go home and we work some more. It's like, we can't get enough of it, but seriously, folks, finding balance in work and play is essential. And that's where I come in. I am an experienced educator and expert in the field of productive play. And we introducing you to this concept, to the changing approach for entrepreneurs like us. Here's what we're going to be covering today. You can still give it the tone of voice of Jerry Seinfeld in chat GPT. And it's going to like reference that as well. Right. So we did that and then it wrote me out an email promotion and then it wrote me out a text message thread, right? And so good stuff. I might want to take this now and just plop it into, again, my living writer, manuscript, open up a new chapter, C4, GPT4, right? One, two, three. And boom, there we go. I'll clean it up, but we'd pass this on to our next members of our team to review it and refine this process as we get ready to rock and roll. So we're coming back in here, taking a step back to Jasper and something I mentioned, I don't want to leave it an open loop for you guys while we're here on, we talked about the enhanced branch, enhanced prompt feature, but another key differentiator in Jasper chat and Jasper in general versus just GPT is again, you have to be specific with GPT-4, you have to feed it the information every time. Uh, I often, if you keep it more broad and it's not going to match your tone of voice, that takes refining, that takes just putting the right context in. Well, with Jasper brand voice, you can now set different tones. And I believe you can do that because I was just here yesterday. If I'm in my team, a lot of credits. Where is it? Tone profile. Oh, it's somewhere in here. I'll find it. Give me a minute, guys. It was just there. Sometimes I my ADHD gets the best of me, so I try to limit my tabs as much as possible. Usage, tone, team, billing. What was it? Ah, there it was. Tone. So if you're in your general, in your workplace settings, and you say looking for tones, go to brand voice. And Jasper is now matching the writing style that you've already written. Pretty cool. Voice name. You can give it a URL to pull from. You can give it a text to pull from. And so what do I got starting with brand voice? Again, like this is actually, I don't want to get off of the rabbit hole here because we, we could do a whole training on brand voice. So I'm going to pull myself back here and we're going to circle back, open the floor up for 20. I know we got 20 minutes left here. Kind of recap, where were we at when we started and 
how did we get to this in the first place? It all came back down to these prompts that we've put together that you guys can access here if you were on the call with us live and also inside of our AI authored library. But example, hands-on workshop, online bootcamp, masterclass. Let's say, let's say we want to put on an online bootcamp to, to engage with our community and do some really cool stuff. I'm going to go into my templates, just like we did at the beginning. I'm going to open my dynamic template, reset that, drop my prompt here into Jasper online bootcamp title. Let's just say a productive play for teams. Audience is like HR managers in this case, proficiency in virtual team building. through games, like I said, like you still need to give it context here, right? And if you don't even know an idea for a topic of your thing, then I would just ask, what do I do a topic of this, right? But the more like of a general idea you can have and just start with is going to be much more beneficial. Coach is Harvey Rollins, CTA, play side hustle, free at play side hustle.com overview, virtual team building through games to boost workplace morale and productivity online. I'm going to enhance that prompt. Jasper's going to enhance it for me. Give me something that is going to get a better output. And let's see what we did here first. I might rerun this, but saying act as a marketing specialist, draft a compelling and detailed email or social media post to promote the online bootcamp, HR managers, title of productive play. It's led by me. And so in this case, it's saying, okay, you're a marketing specialist. And now I want you to draft a detailed email and social media post to promote the online bootcamp. Cool. I can run with that. Like everyone needs to send emails. Everyone needs to post on social. And then we're good. So I'm going to post that. I'm going to go ahead and click create and let Jasper do the work while I sit back, read the comments and see Sergio, you asked 15,000 words. Yeah. So clarifying, it's not 15,000 words in chat GPT. It's, if I can find an example of one on here, 15,000 characters uh, to just clarify that. So program creation, let me see. It's not that one. Mastery, business offer. So and I do use, you can see quite a bit. What's up? And hey, apologies for my audio being horrible, but if anyone has any more questions, we are coming up on around 15 minutes or so. I want to make sure that we get to everybody here. So if you do have any questions, please put them in the Q&A. If you have any questions that you don't feel comfortable asking on live, you can always email us at hey at the AIauthor.com and we'll be responding back to you today or tomorrow with the latest. Yeah. So we'll another presentation for another time, but yeah, 15,000 characters as of 420, 2023 was what I found the cap is for GPT-4, great for processing like conversations and things of that nature. So I come back in here, took a little bit of a break to see that Jasper now has this awesome prompt that we do that I could then take that prompt again, right? To GPT-4, it's much more refined, but now I've got my introduction. So we've got test. Introducing our online bootcamp for HR managers called Productive Play for Teams, virtual team building through games. Boost workplace morale, build stronger teams, increase productivity through creative virtual team building activities. Special focus on experiential game-based learning, including popular games like Side Hustle, the party game for entrepreneurs. Excellent opportunity for HR managers to hone their skills and improve employee engagement in a remote workplace environment. Don't miss the chance to play popular online game Side Hustle for free by visiting playsidehustle.com. Provide extra emphasis on the key benefits that this game provides to HR managers who are looking to boost the morale of their employees. Let's go ahead and generate. You see a question right in here. Julie, you think you put a transcript from a podcast? Absolutely. You might have to chop it up when you're doing a podcast, depending on length. As of right now, I've... For the ones that we were doing, each of the 
days of training was about like a 15 minute call or so. And that ended up being anywhere from 12,000 words to 30,000 words, depending on how much conversation was actually happening there. And so if it's been longer, I've just had to chop it up a few different times. On that case, Don, I see your question here. Do any of these prompts fit into creating a blog post in a format that I want? I would say potentially, maybe not the specific prompts in the sheet that we got up here, but uh, you could modify these, right? And that's what I want to reiterate as you guys are going through these prompts is look at these frameworks for instead of online bootcamp, this could be like blog post title, serving audience. What's the outcome of the blog post? Who are you? The author, the coach, don't miss out. What is the call to action? Just change a few of these words to fit in to what you do. From Chris, specifically Clone versus Safari. I don't really use Safari when I use Jasper or any of these tools. I'm usually a Chrome guy, but I'm sure other people do use it. On that front, Alicia, I would love to use this for creating lessons for kids. What do you think? I think absolutely you could. And I don't know if virtual specialized, take this one for example, specialized course, master strategies here, specialized co course, whatever you want to call it, dedicated to like fifth graders, eighth graders, whatever strategies for outcome, right? Just how would you modify this structure to give you enough of just give a little bit of information to where you can then come in the work with Jasper chat to help you become like write a better prompt off of that if you want to, and then see where it goes from there. Here we go. Introducing productive play, online virtual bootcamp, HR manager, key benefits right here. Our boot camp, don't miss out to play, elevate your team. Like, cool. I like that. I don't like it. We could just regenerate the response. We can add more information in. And again, it's called dynamic for a reason. This is literally like limitless in what you can do with this. It's only limited by your creativity. And this is, I promise you, just the tip of the iceberg. If this just dropped, this is blowing expert power users' minds that I've been like seeing in the Jasper community since the first month. Like people are hyped on this template and I think it's for good reason because it really gives you the creative partner that I think we all need in a tool like Jasper where you're not just out there hope hanging on for dear life that you know the right prompts that you actually get this stuff to where you can work in collaboration and like work with Jasper to help prompting you in that different direction or in the right direction towards what you want to be doing. So Look, it's writing an email now, like it said it was, promoting my event, workplace morale, stronger teams, increased productivity. And so now I've got my emails getting written out right here. And again, key difference here and why I would use chat, especially, or Jasper, as you're going through this is because you can modify it with your tone of voice as you're doing it on your command, you're feeding. I'm having it reference the AIauthor.com, I think for a lot of these. And so I probably would want to have a separate tone of voice for this brand specifically because the side hustle brand's tone is a little bit different than ours with AI author. This may eventually mimic how you think or vice versa. In terms of like patterns and like the content that you're putting into it, Jasper is going to get better at following your style and your brand and your tone. Really stay tuned for some updates coming, guys. Some really cool things going to be coming out. Graham, I see I don't see tone in my account. Is that an enterprise thing? It might be right now. And I'm not sure at what stage if tone is going to be out for like all the boss mode plans and such. I do have a business enterprise account. And so that might be why I have access to it. If you guys are using this for business and teams, like enterprise level is going to be unlocking some pretty sweet features. If you guys want to chat about that and see if it makes sense for you guys to get on board with the Jasper enterprise plan, reach out to us. We got some connections over at the team at Jasper and we can connect you with some folks internally that can get you squared away. I'm going to go ahead and reset this again real quick. Can you try, let me see here, it doesn't have an how you think. Jason asks, can you try here, click Jasper's copy button and paste another doc and see if it retains formatting to before. Markdown formatting for blogs. Usually whenever Jasper is producing the content, like sometimes it was a little weird when I went into Living Rider, but it's normally pretty good when I was moving into a Google Doc. If you guys are running into issues with formatting not sticking, I would send an email to hey at jasper.ai and be like, hey, formatting sucks. Help me out. The more people that tell them that the formatting needs to be better or something, I promise you the more attention that they're going <laughs> to, that they're going to pay to that. So I'm going to do one more. 
a simple version, but I did see another question about an online. Let's just, let's take the same thing we had here, but say you guys don't even have a prompt that, that I just gave you and you're coming into this and you just have an idea and I want to write a course curriculum for my fifth grade classroom on how to use games like side hustle to stimulate creative thinking and build soft skills. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna enhance that prompt though, because I think there's a lot more that we could do here, but I'm kind of feeling lazy. It's been an hour plus in. I've only had four cups of coffee today. My fifth one's actually gotten cold because I've been so excited to give you guys prompts. And look at this. Now, act as a curriculum developer for elementary schools, design an immersive, interactive, and exciting course on how to utilize game platforms like Side Hustle. Entrepreneurs for stimulating creative thinking and building essential soft skills. Start by analyzing the core components of the game, the mechanics, the elements, and how it encourages soft skills. Because it's specific there, I'll see where it starts, but I'm probably going to need to edit that. But look at how detailed this prompt is. This is nuts. Then create an age-appropriate lesson plan to teach students how to leverage these games as tools to promote critical thinking, imagination, entrepreneurship. Ensure that the course includes engaging activities, collaborative projects. And guys, this is absolutely insane. We're going to copy this over here. Jasper, dynamic me up. Get me to the next stage here because you've already helped me so much. I just wanted to make a course that like my kids could start to learn and build soft skills. And you're really helping me now generate the prompt that's going to get me that much closer to my goal, which is creating a curriculum. And this is coming up with stuff that as someone that's not like actively teaching like an elementary school, like I... I wouldn't have really thought to say a lot of this stuff. And here we go. Game on, unleashing creativity. It's, again, like we're coming up on time here, guys. So this is going to be my last demonstration here. But like how cool is it that you can take the idea from what we just gave Jasper chat, enhance the prompt. Jasper gives us this prompt, which quite frankly – Every professional prompt engineer would probably be bragging that they developed such a cool prompt. Now we got Jasper to hook us up with these prompt engineering skills. And then it prompts us within the prompts at stuff that we want to include. And so I'm just going to voice dictate this again. Test, one, two, three. Test. Oh, no, I broke it. Okay, by the way, Darby, we had a suggestion in the chat that if you hit yeah. tab, it'll fill it up. I know you like voice oh, dictation. Wait, I just want to say that out loud. Well, what did somebody say? You can hit tab and it it'll was, fill it all out? Yeah, it was from a non, but try tab. Whoa. <laughs> okay, look, this is I, like I was literally copying and pasting. I thought you just like to do it. No, I do like to do it, but <laughs> you guys, I, literally, I, I spent 30 minutes copying and pasting 15 of these this weekend. Oh, until, until I realized that you could simply click copy to kick clipboard, but I'm like, okay, wow. Time saver. Thank you. Thank you. Look thank at that. you Anon if you're still here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I don't take credit for that. Any additional information? Nah, like give me that first draft Jasper. I'm going to tab my way to success in life and happiness. So here we go. Course title game on unleashing creativity skills to work. So what are we doing? We're building an outline, a target age group, eight to 12 cards, artistic elements, player inclusive teaching methodologies. And I saw somebody on here ask if you could use this for a pitch deck. 100% just add in pitch deck. I need to create a pitch deck for this curriculum, right? Lesson overview. So what we've got, it's, go it's going down, so I'm not going to touch it right now.
Does anyone else think this is as cool as I am? I want to make sure I'm not alone out there. Guys, can you drop a comment and just be like, hey, is this cool? I know there's a hundred people out here right now with this live. Are you seeing, like, gave me some ideas from this? Do you guys see where this can apply inside of your business? Please drop a, something in the Q&A and just let me know, like an insight, an aha, a question. Like, let me know, guys. Ron, this is incredible. Super. <laughs> Julia, you're cracking me up today. <laughs> Derek, he says, this is mind-blowing. Absolutely. Deb, great to see you. Absolutely. Audra as well. Reed, awesome mind-blowing. Awesome. I'm so glad that you guys are seeing this. And like, look at this. It's pretty crazy. It's, I, it still blows my mind. Like, it, any, any teacher in like education, like I get there's a lot more to the AI conversation than just generating lesson plans, right? There's like, how are kids using it in school? And we just finished up a course with UC Berkeley's Changemaker program, teaching this in university. And this stuff is here and it's not going away. Any school that's trying to ban AI, I think is taking the wrong approach to this. Look at how like enabled now, like teachers are now like at your disposal. You can now formulate a lesson plan like this in five minutes. You could take this lesson plan and you could pitch it to your principal superintendent to get funding for it. Maybe you can maybe create like a pitch deck outline. Like it, it's here capped out a little bit right here. But that's totally cool. Whenever Jasper taps out a little bit, like we could take it, we could quote, we can edit a lot right here. I'm surprised that we don't have access to doc to boss mode inside of this. Just, I don't think that's going to be forever, <laughs> but look, we got a lesson plan now. We've got a ton of relevant context and information. So I can just simply go over, I'm going to do this and also highlight blind last key tip while you guys are doing this. Obviously save your content, paste it over. I kept my formatting inside of Jasper, which is good. But what happens if you were like, ah, I got a really good output that one time and I got a really good like prompt, but I don't know where it is. Go into your bottom, like you see AI author in the bottom left, go to all outputs history. And that's also where you can go to the brand voice. If you have the business account, all outputs history, it's going to think for a second. If I go here, I can select the output that I just made, but watch this. These three dots right up here, show inputs. Now we've got a really badass content brief that I can save for any other time. I want to use and leverage this for content. And now again, I moved it on over to boss mode so I could do command J and keep Jasper going on down that path. So right here, making visual aids. And now I can get in that interaction. Looks like Jasper's kind of the formatting right here. Overall right here. Let's do this. Right here. Hey, yes, I know we're at we're one know. minute left. I don't but... mean to steal your thunders. I know. I, Great. <laughs> no, but those are here. Like I'm like this last final like piece of like where once I know from the AI author side of me that I really like this. And if I want to make a recipe for our community, which you should subscribe to at the AIauthor.com, shout out to all you guys here that are subscribed and are members, I can take this now and I'm not going to spend my time in Jasper trying to make a framework for this. Here's the secret sauce. Now that you know that this is something you want, framework equals boom. Okay. Framework equals this. Command based on the framework, create a templatized version of this template that can be modified and applied for use in generating different variations based on variables that are given as data points to, and this, I'm not expecting everyone to like, so they go and do this command specifically, but like, this is more where like, I know much quicker I can give this command than try to modify a bunch of Jasper templates for it. And Jasper might not necessarily be the best I found for making the templatized versions. I'm gonna give it this command now because I wanna turn this into a recipe. So game name, 
right? And so there's a few things here, but what I want it to do actually be a little bit more specific. I'm going to regenerate that response. Aha, there we go now. So you see what I did is I asked it to recreate this framework to create a template for it that can work with other industries. And you notice if you like, like target audience, setting type, develop an age range lesson here. So if I'm a teacher and I want to do this for tons of different types of audiences, but following this type of command, like these skills, these lists, these game names, like these are all going to be key pieces of insight that I'm going to want to have consistently to generate specific variables. And we're at the top of our time here, guys. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to show you all the secrets to how you go about creating your own recipes, but that is segueing into why on earth you guys should join the AIauthor.com because that's where this recording is going to be. That's where our library of prompts and trainings and workflows and insights from recipes from experts in our industry that are sharing what's working with generative AI and Web3 today for helping you as a creator, as an innovator, as an entrepreneur to grow your brand and grow your business and just ultimately get your message out there to more people. So you can access this recording and all the resources from this video as a member of our AI author community inside our AI author library, membership details for that, head on over to the AI author.com. And if you own a library card, then you can go on over to the library with that library card, unlock access at the AI author.com slash card for more information there. And a great, exciting time to be a member is as you guys know, a few weeks ago, we launched our first NFT, the AI author bronze NFT, which unlocks our library of resources. It's obviously going to be a growing library, tons of prompts, recipes, and workflows. And now I've opened up that we've sold through the first 100, right? People already bought the first 100 from all across the board, bumped the price up, doubled it from last week. So you should have got in last week. And now I'm going to be giving... I've got 900 left to people that are driving to our community. If you're a member, go ahead to our bookstore and I'll show you exactly where to go as a member. We are doing this manually right now, so it's not instant, but get your name in the pot because this is a legit limited edition product. This mm -hmm. unlocks access to our library and opens you up to getting very real life discounts on products from our service providers and partners and vendors that we work with. And so if you're a member of our membership, I just unlocked access for the whole community now for this. We've been building it for the last three months and it's finally ready for everyone to unlock. You can get in here and submit your MetaMask wallet. You can find information on how to get your wallet set up. It only takes a few minutes. It's actually quite simple. You'll unlock the specific trainings inside of our bookstore. We're going to be featuring members of our community that are leveraging Web3 technologies with AI to grow their business in this bookstore as we grow different training events. And you got access to our growing library now, which is a three-part Web3 token gating series. You can see here, we got a Q&A coming up this afternoon. We got a live cohort that's going to be working with Glenn Dietzel for the next six weeks on helping you create your own NFTs to stand out and create more income streams for your products. But you got access to our first part of our WorkCamp series, templates, workflows, and recipes, unleashing the power of Jasper. And this library a month from now is going to be much larger. Mm -hmm. Library a year from now is going to be even more larger. This is the time to get into this community. We've got tons of events coming up for you guys. So stoked for the experts that we're working with and the community that we're curating here. I really believe we are on the cutting edge of this industry. It's so fast paced. Things change every week. You need the information that you can apply right now to succeed in business. I guarantee you that the AI author community is going to help support you in your ventures. Would love to have you be a part of it. And I want to thank all of our members that are already active subscribers. Find out more information at theaiauthor.com. I've got to sign off now, guys. Thank you so much, Rachel, for moderating and everyone for yeah. joining us live here. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, super excited to see you on the other side. Thanks. Keep calm with Jasper on. Peace.